imagine that you work with your teammates on developing some software and your teammates have a different coding style than yours and it makes it really hard to modify and review and debug as well luckily people develop different tools to automatically edit code they are called pre-commit hooks i want to show you really amazing integration of apps that will make your life as the developer so much easier hello everyone and welcome back to my channel ruslan is here and today i want to talk about collaborative software development and more precisely about pre-commit hooks what are they and how to use them to enable your software development teamwork basically help you to collaborate with your team members imagine that you work with your teammates on developing some software or an application or you just do some collaborative programming project on github and your teammates have a different coding style than yours you keep different number of empty spaces between the functions and the methods for example or you make imports of different packages in, in different ways and it makes it really hard to modify and review and debug as well right so that's why python if it is python for example they have different standard and one of the most recent standard is called pep8 pep8 and it defines the rules how the code structure should look like and luckily people develop different tools to automatically edit code even before you push the commit to the remote repository on github and that's why they are called pre-commit hooks so they they run the hook before the commit is pushed and i want to jump right into my screen to show you how it works and then what it means so let's go you can see i have uh, a folder and open terminal uh, that has uh, two visible files and one of them is guide which i just created for you to uh, guide you through this tutorial which i will also link in the comments below so as the first step for installing uh, these pre-commit hooks is to run the command pip install pre-commit uh, and i'm using python 3 3 so i am using the command python pip3 install pre-commit hooks pre -commit. and i see that uh, except for the new release of pip installer uh, i have requirement already satisfied because uh, i have already installed them uh, then uh, what you should do next is to create a, a hidden file um, called precommitconfig.yaml and uh, basically uh, this file is hidden so it's not invisible here but then you can see if we do list ls minus la like list show all we can see that uh, i have already created this file and uh, i can open it in terminal with for example vim and you can see that uh, that uh, i have some instructions here which uh, i will explain in a moment but don't be afraid and uh, to memorize all of this uh, because uh, i i don't um, memorize it and then there are plenty of resources on the internet where you can uh, check a specific pre-commit hook and add it to your yaml instruction file uh, and i will also add all of these descriptions in the description box below so you can just um, copy and paste if you want to use the same file but um, i would say that i already uh, put some comments here to explain what those hooks are to guide you through this process but there are actually many 
many more pre-comment hooks that uh, I will not even touch in this tutorial. Otherwise, it, it will take hours and hours to explain them all. But uh, the basic idea is that um, you have um, different um, repositories for different um, pre-comment hooks. And uh, you basically specify them as uh, repos, and for each repo repository from GitHub, you just take a pre comment hook like iSort, Black, Flake 8, and these are one of the most popular pre comment hooks, which uh, you can use uh, immediately, and then you uh, just um, specify which in revision and uh, ID, uh, you can s specify arguments. It's really, it, it can become quite um, complex. Um, you can uh, also uh, specify which folders or files you want to exclude from checking. For example, if you, you have some files uh, which are maybe environment files and you don't want to edit it in weird ways or prevent those environment files to commit to push your GitHub commit. So you can actually exclude them from these checks. But in enough of that, uh, let's see how it works in practice. So we have this file. I will not save anything here because uh, there is nothing to save. Let me clear the terminal. Uh, and what do we have here? So I, I will show you how to work with terminal directly. We can put guide to the site meanwhile and see what to, uh, do we have here. Uh, at first, I want to show you how to work with, with this file directly in the terminal and then how to use PyCharm to make this like a piece of cake. Really to use this GitHub pre-commit hooks in the auto automated fashion. So let's see. Uh, we have simple function that defines basically a sum of two arguments, A and B. Uh, C is equal A and B, uh, return C. Uh, it would be, first of all, better if I put just return A plus B, but uh, I want to have more equations to show you how in github pre-commit hooks work in you know, in real life scenario then we define any uh, new variable which is sum 2 plus 6 and uh, the result uh, should be printed as 8 uh, let's for example close this i can run this to show you that it should give, yeah, the, the sum of 26 is 8, so it's a well-functioning code. Uh, but what if we, if this, imagine that this code is really complex and you collaborate with a lot of different people and they have uh, different styles of programming and they kind of mess up a code and then you get something like that. We will save this file. It will run in the same unexpected thing in the oh, okay yeah. Okay, let's let's see what actually happened. Yeah, so it, it, the code works just fine, as you can see, but the problem is if you look here and you want to debug this, and it's not like the three-line code, but it's like 200 lines of code. 
how are you supposed to do this right and it would be impossible so that's why you have recommend hooks which which pre-commit hooks which you can uh, okay i i don't have it in the history here but you can run it all files i believe this is the common pre-commit space run space all files Mm. All right, of course. Uh, are uh, an error occurred? Uh, Git failed. Is it installed? And are you in the Git in repository in directory? It's it's a good in indication that, as you can see, it's not a Git in a repository yet. So we can actually initialize a, a Git in repository with in Git init, and you can see it created .git file. And now since it is in Git in a repository i can run pre-commit run all files the commit run all files and you can see that all the hooks pre-commit hooks are skipped why is it uh, they are skipped because we didn't make any commit first test commit so uh, i will just create a quick uh, commit with git commit minus m message uh, first test commit uh, and i need to git add add all let's add all the files here and i will check git status uh, changes to be committed in these three files so and now now we can i will just clear up the space for you so now we can run pre-commit run all files and you will see what happened boom uh, check python ast is good i sort is good because we didn't really in import in any files here any packages but black black this um, file informator it actually failed and what it it, it it reformatted automatically reformatted our pre-commit test dot by and you can see it shows all done it's like piece of cake done easily automatically and flake eight eight passed so what did it do? How did it reformat our... Boom! Do you see? We didn't see it in real time because we need to, to close and open the file unless you work in PyCharm, which I will show in a minute, where you can immediately see how the code reformats in real time. It's really amazing. But I hope you can see the point, the point of this comment hooks remember that the code was messed up everywhere and now after just running this pre-commit run all files you can also write pre-commit run and choose a file for example pre-commit test.py and then it will format only that particular file or folder but uh, next step before we go to the PyCharm, uh, I want to also show you this command. So you need to run pre-commit install and it will add hooks pre-commit install it dot git hooks pre-commit. So actually it added hooks here in in this in this github local repository it added hooks that will run before you commit and if there are any failed hooks then they will not be committed and that is amazing because you might uh, 
forget to run this, you know, pre-commit run all files, and then you just remember, oh shoot, I, I should have uh, modified that uh, file, and then you, you need to reverse your commit, edit it, push it back to remote repository. It's a lot of hassle, but when you do this, it you will see that it will fail. For example, I want to show you really quick. For example, I will just add some spaces here to show that it should it should fail. Git uh, commit minus m uh, second commit. Boom. Bam 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 bam. It runs all the all the changes on this uh, stashed uh, uh, unstaged files, uh, right? And black failed, and then it reformats this, and then you will see that it was supposed it is supposed to be changed. It's supposed to be changed here. So we need to run this file books by ourselves and then and then if we want to add a commit when the file is insert file whatever but we can see uh, git add I'm sorry of course see I'm working in terminal so I, I need to write everything myself. Now I'll show you how to actually make life easier if you third whatever. But you can see that if everything is unclear, then uh, these pre-commit hooks run automatically and they pass all the hooks and then you can commit and stash your changes. But uh, you see, I ha had to write a lot of git add all the files, git status to check what was added. I want to show you really amazing integration of apps that will make your life as the developer so much easier. And then for this, we don't need to use in terminal anymore, but to do channel dashboard, no. Oh, uh, I had it somewhere. Uh, all right, yeah, that's the right window. Finally found it. So uh, I want to suggest you to use uh, GitHub desktop. Uh, if you use a MacBook, it will uh, macOS, it will automatically suggest to download it. You download and install it from Windows and download files uh, here for Windows. If you use Linux, there are uh, a little bit uh, different instructions, but basically there are plenty of resources on the internet that will uh, help you to install this on uh, Linux. For example, in Ubuntu here. Uh, so you install in GitHub in desktop because it, you will see how how easy it is to use these pre-commit hooks and to work if you have GitHub and PyCharm. And PyCharm is just an, an amazing IDE for software development. Uh, they support different programming languages, but I will show you Python here. So uh, at first they suggest uh, you to install a professional version with a 30 day free trial. If you are just starting out, I would recommend scrolling a little bit down and then you'll see PyCharm Community Edition. And Community Edition is free, it has plenty of options and uh, it is really amazing. Of course. Okay, if you, you want to work with um, databases directly 
through the pie charm, for example, you are doing data engineering job or you are a data scientist, then maybe you can consider purchasing pie charm professional. But uh, whatever uh, your choice is, you can download this. And if you are using different uh, soft, different uh, OS operating system, then you, you can install an execution file for Windows, for macOS is DMG, and for Linux is archive file targz. So after installing all of this, you can open. An GitHub desktop and uh, create repository or clone uh, repository from remote. You can add local in repository. It's what I did. You add local repository and then go directly to your folder. I would just undo. You can see since we all already had some in pre-comment hooks, there are no uh, like in comments. Uh, there are no changes in the files right now, but in the history, you can see that we actually added you know, this third, third as I wrote. Yeah, apparently, I uh, don't know how to spell English words, but um, anyway, you can see that uh, it keeps track of all of the editions uh, here right now I want to show you really quick uh, really quick uh, so basically you can you can add I don't know you let's just rename it to test 2 and then we, we, you will see that it can immediately show you that we deleted this file deleted and added the new file so uh, I see on also that it shows red in color for deleted files and in green for added but um, it is not really in colorblind friendly scheme and I don't know if actually it has in, in developers or of GitHub and desktop thought about it that some people might not see this in color as well. So if this is the case for you, I uh, would suggest looking also at this left column. You can see minuses, which means uh, minus indicates every deleted line and in this uh, new renamed file you, you can see plus so plus indicating that this line was added and now we, we can open this file with some right click and go down here and open in pycharm community edition or if you have a professional edition you will see pycharm professional edition but i open it here and since I had it open already, uh, we have a lot of things. Uh, I will quickly show you what it is. So basically, it is uh, our project structure here. And it has precommit.yaml hidden file that our, our guide, double click, uh, you can see it here and then modify as you wish you not external libraries and our pre-commit test 2.py file so uh, we can really see all the files immediately and then work with them in a more interactive way and as uh, you have seen in the beginning i had also another open uh, tab which was terminal uh, where I can immediately uh, run the same terminal commands that uh, I would run in separate terminal, but it is all integrated in one tool and all of the changes 
all of the ch changes will be reflected immediately if you come to the github and desktop app so it's really amazing how it is all integrating but let's see i only wanted to show you i keep talking a lot i i wanted to show you how to use this pre-commit hooks so you, you can see immediately how easy it is a pre-commit run what if i don't run all files but just pre-commit run dot for this folder to no hook with id okay i do this okay what we need to do is we need to firstly add commit and then uh, since this file was re renamed uh, this is kind of a new file file it was not yet committed to github environment so uh, to be stacked there so you need to uh, create a commit and then you will see that it then will be updated with pre-commit hooks because right now pre-commit hooks we don't see file yet a new file update so uh, i can commit this file close so all done okay you can see that it actually failed once because we had um, oh, okay. I, I need to do it in once again. Now you, you see it's uh, even harder for me to show this thing to you. But now, now it should work. We come and run all files. It doesn't work. I am wondering why. Ls Why? this doesn't work we comment all files all files right you need to run all files that's the issue is here like there are a lot of things to learn yet <laughs> um so you can see that it isn't committed uh, uh ran this uh, pre-commit hook and it modified things immediately in, in, in this in this file so it, it runs it and modifies and then you can see all of the updates immediately and it's amazing because you don't need to open and then close the files and it's there are a lot of functionalities here as well like you can run configuration and run uh, current file which will show our result of 8 uh, sum 2 and 6 right I, I, instead of them writing python 3 what was this three commit blah 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 you just edit the current file if you go to a, another file and you cannot run it obviously it's not python executable but then you can edit the configuration and add uh, the file to which file to run uh, without a record where you are in right now so it, it has a lot of cool things even in, in community edition which i will link in the, in the description box below but uh, i hope you can really see the power of the commit hooks and uh, thanks a lot for sticking around probably this video became a little bit too long but uh, I hope it was useful. Uh, for more, please like this video, subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with new videos. And then have a great day and happy debugging!